Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today I just wanted to take a look at a Polish 67-75 helmet. Nothing particularly amazing about the outside of it. Uh, pretty common helmet. Uh, I will say, as far as Cold War era helmets went, it was one of the best made of the Eastern Bloc types. Just high quality, extremely heavy. I swear you could kill somebody just with the helmet itself it's that heavy this one is a little bit more desirable than a lot of the others because it does have the polish eagle stenciled on the front and there are quite a few pictures of polish military units even operating out in the field with the white stencil on the front um the, the helmets with the white stenciled eagle are not super rare, but they're a little more desirable for collectors. You will find these both with and without the eagle stencil. Uh, it's just kind of cool to have one with if you're a collector and interested in that. Uh, flip this guy over so we can take a look at the inside. It has got the typical uh, 67 slash 75 liner system, which looks fairly complicated, but really isn't. It's just uh these small strips of leather that are riveted and then held in place with uh your typical adjusting string there you've got a leather chin strap which is uh nice the really cool thing about the the liner system is it's actually incredibly comfortable um and you can find these helmets in pretty nice shape uh with the liners well intact where the interesting thing is a lot of them are going to have graffiti in them of all the Cold War era helmets that I've examined, I've seen more writing in Polish helmets than a fair amount of others, although you will see it in others. But uh, the Polish helmets will be in good shape and just have a lot of writing in them. This one has got, obviously, looks like a few names. And then someone decided to write or scribble a whole bunch of arrows, I guess, to let you know where your head goes in this one. Uh, I'm not really sure what that meant, but I'm keen to find out. Most of these helmets were made by a factory called HS, which was Hooter Silesia, and I'm sure I'm completely butchering that pronunciation. And they'll be marked with an HS or other maker's mark and a date inside. This one, unfortunately, does not have that, or at least I couldn't find it. It looks like it actually has, has been rubbed off or wore off or something like that. And the under, other interesting part of this helmet, which I did not know about when I actually obtained it, is that it's got an M.O. written down there in the, a little bit hard to see, but that's an M.O. which is going to stand for Militia Obiwatelska, and I'm sure I am completely screwing that up, so my apologies to the M.O., which was the, uh, sort of the National Police Agency of of Poland and they'd be the the folks who would kind of keep order uh, inside the country a lot of communist dictatorships needed a pretty strong police force and you'll see pictures of them in full military gear they had a number of military vehicles they wore steel helmets like this and just to find that this is actually a an MO helmet is just kind of interesting so if you pick up a uh, Polish helmet and you see MO in it, you know you probably have a an internal security uh, police force helmet. And they were well used during the 80s. There was all kinds of political unrest with the uh, Solidarity Movement and Lech Walesa and, you know, just sort of all kinds of anti-communist fomentation going on at the time. So they were uh, used quite frequently and by the MO and uh, just <clears throat> excuse me in general uh, an interesting helmet as always remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching